Apollo 14 moon mission is ready to go at an estimated cost of $400 million, which is $25 million more than was spent on last spring's Apollo 13. With blast-off scheduled for tomorrow, we have a report tonight from Walter Cronkite and former astronaut Wally Schirra at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Wally, it seems to me it's got all the feel of a football Saturday here at the Cape. The weather is perfect, the cloudless skies, temperature in the mid-70s, and a football crowd attitude in Cocoa Beach, too. There's all this talk, of course, that space flight trips to the moon, if you please, are boring the American people. Well, a half million of them have come here to crowd into this corner of Florida this weekend to watch the launch of Apollo 14. And the European Broadcasting Union says that 600 million people around the world are going to be watching on television. Here the guest list includes American officialdom and European, Hollywood, and industrial royalty. Vice President Agnew, Spain's ruler designate, young Prince Juan Carlos and his princess, Bob Hope, Kirk Douglas, Cary Grant, the president of General Motors, the president of the Steelworkers Union, a Kansas City optics tycoon chartered a jumbo jet to bring his friends here, including 30 millionaires and three Middle Western governors. And of course, uh, of all the distinguished guests here, the wives and the children of the astronauts, but so careful is NASA that these flyers don't repeat the measles debacle of Apollo 13, that visits have about all the charm of a Saturday afternoon at Sing Sing through a plate glass window. There's some interest in this flight at any rate, it seems, no matter how bored some may be. As a matter of fact, Wally, the spectacle aspect seems to me to overlay an atmosphere of almost unprecedented calm here at the Cape among space people. Well, I, I felt that. It's, it's almost an eerie feeling. We, we, we normally would expect to have some tank wouldn't fuel right or some system wouldn't check out right or we'd have a lightning storm, but everything is going uh, just nominal is the good word, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there was a little glitch in the power this afternoon that gave them some worry. Uh, the, the power dropped out. They thought the computers might have been affected, but it turned out they weren't. Everything's fine. Everything's go. The astronauts are in good shape. The spacecraft in good shape. A little uh, cold front coming down from the north that might give a weather problem tomorrow, but they say it looks like it's going to be okay for liftoff at 3.23 tomorrow afternoon, Eastern Time. Roger. Our live coverage of the launch will begin at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. An overlooked provision in President Nixon's budget message.